All right, friends, it's Tina. I'm back with a brand new video. We're gonna do something new and improved on Abby Sharp. Now, I know I've done a video on her before a long time ago. You know, she's kind of like this nutritionist. She's way out there, dude. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do a reaction video to the uh, dietitian slave herself, Abby Sharp. Yes. So Abby Sharp says dietitian reviews Mark Wahlberg's extreme high protein diet. Is this even healthy? Well, as a carnivore, you being a carnivore, I would say, yeah, because it's high protein. Man, your acid dissolves the protein. It's the nutrients that you want that's inside there. So um, you that's like fiber. You can't digest fiber, but you can digest protein. Why does why do people think that they can digest fiber? Why do they even think they need fiber? This is just ridiculous. The fiber just holds the water, the stuff that you think is in there, these vitamins, which are not bioavailable and they're fucking anti-nutrient. They're they're toxins. There's toxins in there. That's just crazy. But whatever. I mean, these people are really gone. She's so gone as a nutritionist. Whatever. I'm a peacock, Captain. You gotta let me fly on this one. I think we just found a transformer. Never rob a bank crossing Medina with the best donuts in three counties. Okay, now I need a jelly donut. And there are definitely... Yeah, she needs garbage food because garbage in, garbage out. Jelly donut, which don't exist in nature. Why do you think she's suffering from IBS and all these weird problems? She has to take all these pills. No donuts here. Hey, everyone. I'm Abby Sharp. Donuts are like drugs. That's what they really are. She's like, now I need drugs called donuts because everybody's on drugs. I mean, they're smoking drugs. They're drinking drugs all day, alcohol. They're poisoning themselves all day. They're eating these drugs, consuming it called sugar. Man, the society is really absolutely gone. Welcome back to Abby's Kitchen. Today I'm going to be taking a look see. Welcome back to Abby's fake kitchen, which doesn't exist in nature. So we can destroy you further and destroy your health because I'm a nutritionist. I'm, I, I'm, I work for the government. Yeah. The government doesn't work for you. Okay, whatever. At what veteran actor Mark Wahlberg eats in a day. Now, before we get started, don't forget to check. No, thanks. I don't want to know any of these things. Let's move up ahead here. Here we go. Another glass of water while I'm making my coffee or tea. I just feel... Coffee or tea, she's going to have a glass of water. She's going to have a glass of tap water, which is filled with chemicals. It's been recycled a trillion times in the city. I suggest you go out in the country and try to get uh, mineralized water. There's places out in the country you can find them. There's these rods in the ground. They're coming out because up north, I bring back my own water because it's groundwater. It's mineralized. But city water has been recycled so many times, and then they just pour more chemicals in it. You just, you're just consuming chemicals. I mean, you can filter it. I do filter it. I do have good filters to, to filter these water definitely i have a filter on my shower as well i have filters on my taps everything but um like i said you know she's a nutritionist hey what can i say she loves coffee toxic coffee which is sprayed with the most heavily sprayed bean coffee bean uh glyphosates uh, whatever pesticides herbicides glyphosates you name it whatever um fungicides um plus tea as well is sprayed and it too has toxins in it it's very toxic toxic beans yes and plants like there are very few times in the day when the world is quiet and you're you know it's funny it's like i'm not getting enough toxins eating these artificial foods so i need to drink them consume them can you imagine how fast they hit you that toxicity just absolutely draining you of your energy it's just like sucking you dry inflammation of the cells and just driving that aging process more inflammaging and people wondered why didn't humans live to 600 before 600 years or something weren't we able to live quite a few hundred years like whales and shit well yeah but at this point you can't live that much longer because you keep destroying yourself drinking these toxic plants and shit eating them not surrounded by people with needs. So I just find morning is a really good time to get ahead on the hydration. As for the supplements, you know, zinc has a lot of amazing benefits and potential uses as a supplement, most notably for... 
As a supplement, why do you need supplements? You get it in your food if you're eating natural food, uh, raw meat and uh, raw fish. You're going to get it in there automatically, especially shellfish. They're packed with them. Raw oysters. I should pop up this video. I just I took a while ago. Maybe I'll put it up. Uh, a seafood section. Oysters. Raw oysters are amazing. Yes. Eye health, cognition and mood regulation, and sperm quality. So yeah, like keeping the spunk. Yeah, sperm quality. Yes, definitely. I mean, that th she looked like she came from good quality sperm. Oh, well, she looks okay, but she's just destroying herself eating these fake foods. But maybe she doesn't eat them. Maybe she just promotes them so you eat them, and she eats natural food. Who knows? Maybe it's a it's a fake she's putting on here in the swimmers what did he say i don't know what he's using it for but what i do want people to know because it's something that i feel like isn't really talked about very often when it comes okay. to zinc is if you are taking zinc supplements regularly you absolutely need to be supplementing with copper as well so one gram of copper for about every 10. see how naturally see how unnatural these slaves are well, you know, if you're taking this supplement, it's like, no, I need to take the copper, this and that. It really is just all, it's it's all marketing, really. That's all it really is. Make you sick, and then, well, let's try and sell you a solution after we've made you sick. So Abby's job is really to make you sick, and then she tries to sell you solutions for the symptoms that she's made you sick with, the food that she's uh, that she's promoting that makes you sick to 15 grams of zinc otherwise zinc can actually cause copper deficiency which can lead that's, to anemia look, that's the only way these slaves can make money they can't make money if you're healthy if you're eating your natural diet and you're healthy there's no money for them to make off you so if you live in nature and there's no job there's no taxes there's no money there's no dentist doctors nothing because you're not sick because they're not driving you to become sick so then they can leech off you like a leech see what i mean so abby has to promote she has to promote unhealthy diets she has to promote these unhealthy supplements she has to because that's how she leeches off of you to take your money from you and then she goes shopping because she doesn't know what to do with herself and her life other than go shopping thyroid problems and osteoporosis and this actually happened to me once um because i basically ran out of copper when i was filling my osteoporosis nobody in nature is going to suffer from osteoporosis if you eat a natural diet nobody nobody pill packs and then i just blinked and forgot about it for weeks because it wasn't sitting in front of me it just like dropped out of my routine and eventually my scalp started burning <laughs> And I figured out that, yeah, I had created a bit of an imbalance. But I stopped the zinc and the imbalance corrected and it was all good. And then I have a triple espresso. I have my coffee. Yeah, that's all you want is triple espressos. Cause, so you could, um, it's a stimulant, a caffeine stimulant, very high. So you could possibly cause uh, a heart attack, maybe a murmur. Uh, I don't know. It, it toxifies your cells. More DNA damage, definitely, because it's super strong. And it's super sprayed with every toxin, you name it, bro. This is just crazy. <laughs> this guy's an actor. You'd think he'd care about his health. He has money. So he wants to destroy himself with everybody else. Okay. Go on the cold plunge, come out, and then I'll have my creatine. Oh, my God. Cold plunge. How much more artificial can this guy get? And then he's like, I take my creatine. So let me see. I, I take my this 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 fucking espresso coffee. He goes cold plunges like a good slave, and then he takes creatine. He says right here. You know my branch chain aminos while I'm working out. Well, that away. Aminos, branch chain aminos, creatine. Oh man, this is. You can't get more artificial than that. Is he marketing this to you? Do you think he's actually doing these things, or it's just marketing to you so he could steal your money? I just. It's a horrible thing to do this to people. Do people not believe that this is evil? I know. They're good Catholics. They're good religious people. I bet you they go to church too. Yeah. See what I mean? Is this not pure evil? 
wake you up. This guy clearly likes his mornings a little more extreme than I do. But anyway, different strokes for different folks. As for the supplements, BCAA. You know that uh, the wolves come in sheep's clothing, eh? Yeah, Abby. Is or branch chain amino acids are the three amino acids leucine, isoleucine, and valine, which are best known for their role in. They're all found in raw meat. They're all, there's no deficiency in raw meat. There's no deficiency in any nutrient in raw meat. Absolutely zero in beef. Muscle protein synthesis, particularly leucine. And while yes, they are absolutely in. Muscle protein synthesis. I don't see people worried about that. The general public out there, they're walking around. They're not worried that they need leucine for protein synthesis. Heh, <laughs> man imperative to muscle growth they're not actually all that useful a lot they're not growing muscles uh abby the, the general public that's walking around out there working and doing their thing they're not growing any muscles they already grew at 15 they reach a domain limit at 15 actually their natural domain limit yeah you can't get any more of these fibers you're born with a certain amount of fibers and you carry them for the rest of your life. Now, can you add to them? Yeah, if you do very specific things, like damage them in an adaptation, which are astronomically hard to get. That's why bodybuilding is such a elusive type of sport. It's weird. But you can grow these artificial muscles if you don't know anything about bodybuilding, sarcoplasmic. On their own. We actually need all the essential amino acids to be present in the body to effectively build muscle. So research suggests that you're to build muscle, you need a lot of them to build muscle, but you're not building any muscle because muscle has a myonuclear domain size limit. It reaches a ceiling limit during hypertrophic process, even in exercise, beyond where the satellite cell can donate any more extra nuclei to that domain to support what? Further muscle growth. So what do you need to do? You need to get a, another adaptation. And it's very difficult because once it gets the first adaptation, it's protected from a second repeated bout of exercise, of the same exercise. Yeah, because it's now resilient from further assaults. So you're going to have to keep upping, upping the ante. That's what bodybuilding is about. It's about up, upping the ante. But, but the problem with a lot of people, they don't understand bodybuilding. They think it's an endurance sport. They got to come there every day and lift the weight and stimulate and stimulate. <laughs> Get it? It's not about stimulating. It's about damaging and then repairing and remodeling. But they all have it backwards, Abby, and so do you. You're much better off consuming a complete protein powder with adequate leucine than just isolated. These protein powders are, are all filled with sugar and dextrose, a bunch of stuff to, that's what they want. They want you to increase the sarcoplasm through the, the, the sugar products. They want you to get fat, really, basically. Um, you're just going to gain weight. You're not going to build any muscle eating these protein powders. And they're waste products, and they could be toxic, too. They've hurt people. BCAAs. And also keep in mind that a lot of plant-based proteins do not meet leucine's optimal threshold for muscle protein synthesis, which is arguably the most important amino acid. She's really weird. You're synthesizing and breaking down protein all day long. Now, if you exercise and in an adapted state, then there's just a window there, like a person going to a factory. They're working in a factory, exercising, lifting boxes. They're wearing themselves out. So there's an open window for protein breakdown. And what do they do? They go home and they eat a lot because they feel hungry. So they replenish the breakdown. Yeah, that's all they're doing. They're just putting back what they broke down. Now, if you don't put back what you broke down, you'll start shrinking. That's all. That's all you're doing. So, hey, we're building muscles. Yeah, you're breaking down muscles and you're building them back up again. Yahoo! for the job so this is exactly why we enhance the leucine in our protein powder at new theory for optimal muscle protein synthesis as for creatine i've actually yes it's optimal for muscle protein synthesis because we're busy bees working and we're breaking down proteins and then we're building them up again we're breaking them down and building them up it's like a guy going to a gym I pick up a weight, I drop the weight, and I pick, I pick the weights up. I drop them, and I pick them up again. <laughs> then you get better, you get better, 
at lifting these heavy weights by picking them up and dropping them. Yeah, you pick them up and drop them and you get better at lifting them. Yeah, so cool. <laughs> See what I mean? Man, this is funny. Oh, I got better at building or rebuilding muscles. You are. You're you're breaking them down. Now you got to build them again. <laughs> Yeah, you're getting good at doing that. Okay. A whole video on that, but in short, it has been shown to enhance muscle growth, improve exercise performance, and speed up recovery, among many other benefits. Oh, and yeah. it's not just for super, super active people sure. like Mark, but like for regular recreationalists as well. And finally, the cold plunge. You know, a lot of people would argue with Mark to do the dip after the workout, since, you know, a lot of research does show that it can help with preventing muscle soreness or DOMS. However, if your goal... Muscle soreness, DOMS? <laughs> DOMS is associated with muscle damage. Yeah, that lasts for many days, and it's very painful. Um, I, I, she's lying, DOMS. You, maybe you mean soreness that you wore yourself out. If you got DOMS, then you'd get an adaptation in muscle growth because they'd be, they'd be micro-damaged. But, but it's hard to get them damaged because they're protected by something called repeated bout effect phenomena. So you have to move up to the next, the next level, and then it's protected by repeated bout effect again when you move up to the second and then the third level if you ever get there is gains plunging before and, your workout um, like mark most people never get there they always get in the newbie gains phase like mark Wahlberg, newbie gains all these people in the gym they all do the newbie gains and they don't understand bodybuilding at all that it's based on muscle damage training to build that muscle that's all it's based on it's not based on being an endurance athlete coming to the gym did would actually likely be best. So research has found that regular use of cold water plunging can actually blunt some of the processes that contribute to muscle hypertrophy and strength. So you no, if you actually got an adaptation, which is muscle damage, then it would blunt in this the repair and the remodeling phase. Yeah, definitely. Now, if you're just a lifting safe lifting slave and you're adapted now, once you become look, once you become adapted as an untrained athlete, you're trained, you get this damage, now it's resilient for further assaults. There's no more muscle to be built there anymore because you need to damage them if you want to build more muscle. And it has to be you have to move up to the second level and then and then so forth and so on. You're not doing that. Nobody is. And that's why they're all complaining. And then you get these guys, you're cold plunging, doesn't do anything to you. At this point, it's useless. It just increases inflammation. It cre increases cortisol and it starts breaking down protein. So then she's going to say, you know what? You have to take this protein powder. See, that's the whole thing. They want you to do stuff that's bad for you, like cold plunging and drink coffee. And, and that is going to destroy your muscle. And so then they're like, well, now you need to protein synthesis. Eat these protein powders, which are further destroying you. You know what I mean? It's crazy. Uh, will they add back some of the protein? Well, I don't know. Maybe there's something there. But I, I really doubt it, you know? But again, it's just bullshit. You don't want to suppress your gains, obviously. So I suggest either... You don't want to suppress your gains, but you're not gaining. Because if you were to gain every time you went to the gym, then why aren't you getting bigger? Look, here's the question. Fat people are eating a lot, right? And they're getting fatter and fatter and fatter. Okay, you're going to the gym lifting weights. You say that weights lift, uh, lifting weights build muscles. Okay, so why aren't you getting bigger and bigger and bigger lifting a weight? Because it's not based on lifting a weight and getting bigger. It's based on getting exercise induced muscle damage and adaptation, and then they get bigger. They only they get bigger. The adaptation means to protect. The word adaptation means protect to protect from what from further assaults from your weights get it so now you're lifting weights you are a comfortable slave you're a comfortable slave now lifting in other words you're comfortable in the factory working you're not going to get any more damage you're not going to be in pain and everything could you imagine if you constantly got this damage lifting in the factory or lifting weights and you kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger just because you lifted your arm up in the air and it got damaged, man, you'd fucking commit suicide and die. Get it? That's why these people that consume these fake diets, they get fatter and fatter and fatter and fatter and fatter, 600 pound man, 700, 800, 900, to the point where they're about to bust. 
And then they just look like a blob laying in a bed. You understand me, man? Yeah. Why? Because fat is not overseen by folostat, myostat, and the satellite cell. You understand me? Neither is sarcoplasmic hypertrophy. So when people take steroids or people that eat bags full of potatoes, their muscles blow up like crazy because they fill up with glycogen called sarcoplasmic. They hypertrophy to start the sarcoplasm. So, <laughs> man, it, it's not regulated. Muscle is regulated by folostat, myostat, and the satellite cell. It's a complex thing. It's not going to allow you to keep building muscles, okay? It's bullshit. Saving the plunging for a rest or a cardio day or getting into the water at least four hours before you train. But okay, now. So you should go and plunge four hours before you train. Wow, this is, uh, what are you training for exactly? This is really crazy. To give your energy away to some gym? Man, go have sex. At least give it there. I'm hungry. I had five eggs. I had two hard-boiled eggs and three scrambled eggs. I had a pork chop, which is a little bit... And so what? You look average. You look average. You don't look anything. The salt and pepper on it. I had uh, wild smoked salmon, some okay. Greek yogurt, and berries. And then I had... Uh... He's eating berries. Yeah, okay. But look at him. He's aging. He's aged a lot. And he looks average. Green juice with uh, moringa. Oh my God, highly toxic. With uh, moringa. That is a solid. Green juice with moringa. Toxic juice with moringa. <laughs> so he could destroy himself further. Jesus. Meal right there, but it's almost just all protein. And obviously protein is so important for muscle protein. It's almost just protein in, in nature. You would be eating a lot of animal fat and, yeah, animals. You'd be eating animals and their organs and everything. Uh, Abby Sharp. She's so unnatural, man. She just doesn't realize. Like, she's so out to lunch. Yeah, okay, whatever. Let's hear what she has to say. Synthesis. Research does suggest yeah. that we want to aim for around 1.6 to 2.2 grams per kilogram per day of protein for muscle growth specifically but not so much protein that it edges out other important nutrients, including carbs. Of course, she has to promote carbs because that's, that's the food that will destroy you. So she's like, you shouldn't eat that much protein because you need room for the, the destructive part so we can destroy you and, you know, eat your energy and destroy your DNA while eating these toxic carbs like rice, which has arsenic in it. We poison you slowly with arsenic and then we age you. Yes, and then we'll sell you solutions for all these problems that you have because that's my job. I'm Abby Sharp. I'm a nutritionist. Yeah. <laughs> Is butter a carb? Carbs help us replenish our... Is butter a carb? <laughs> butter is filled with nutrients. I can tell you it's very good for you. It's, kind, it's made from animal products, so it can't be bad. It's made from animal products. It's very good for you, yes. Unlike plants. Our glycogen stores after a hard training session. And there is... Yes, we have to put in glycogen stores after a hard training session because guess why? We have to go back and enslave ourselves to these hard working sessions so we can age ourselves and give our energy away to some gym owner, our money, our energy, lifting his weights, his man-made weights in the gym. So then we can go and replenish these carbs, which, which carbs are filled with these fucking toxins like arsenic in it and oxalates and everything <laughs> so we can further destroy ourselves so we can shorten our lifespan so we can leave our money to the government after they've slaved us yes okay evidence that a low carb diet tends to lower performance in strength workouts which could potentially compromise that's a fallacy that uh, the people they believe that uh, it's a drug carbohydrates are drugs so i gotta take drugs and well if you know if i don't take him it'll it won't fuel my workout well drugs definitely help in the workout right if you want to push yourself in that moment in the moment but then there's a downfall there's a drop and uh, there's these upswings that's why you're all depressed everybody's depressed out there they're like why am i so depressed because you're eating these toxic foods hello yeah, which you're not supposed to. They're, they're consuming your energy and they're destruct, 
destroying your DNA and causing inflammation and they're aging you. Yes. Accelerated aging. Is strength and muscle gain over time. Yes, I see some like carbs in the berries and like maybe there's a little bit in the green juice, but as a percentage of... Again, I, you're asking me personally, I think Abby Sharp is lying. I don't think she consumes any of these toxic things. She's a nutritionist. She must have learned that these things cause all these problems in people. She must know this. She's not that stupid. So she's like, well... I'll just I'll just consume the stuff that I'm supposed to as a human, but I'll I'll market these things to the stupid slaves out there so I can steal their money. You understand me? That's about it, really. Cause look at her. Cause if she was eating these plants like she says she does, they'd fucking destroy her over time. Cause she's been on this channel for quite a long time. I know she says she takes these pills and everything. She screams, makes videos, but maybe that's just a ploy to get you going. You know. Pretend like she's like one of the gang, one of you, when in fact she could be just eating, consuming natural food and she forgoes all this fake stuff. She wants you to consume it. Calories? It's looking very, very skewed. As for the Moringa, which I recently found... Yeah, so she could sell you her products and whatever else she's selling here, whatever she wants to sell you on. Oh, is also called a drumstick tree? I want a drumstick tree. That sounds like as a nutritionist how could she not know that these things have toxins in them why doesn't she bring them up why doesn't she tell you what type of toxicities phytotoxins are found in these so-called drinks and powders and everything that she's promoting why doesn't she mention that see what i mean why does the drugstore have to tell you about side effects from drugs why would drugs have side effects if they're there to help you they have side effects because they're made from plants, toxic plants. The side effects are the toxins that are inside, that are found in that so-called medicine that they extracted from plants. And then they feed them to you after they destroyed you, feeding you a fake diet. You understand me? And it further destroys you, that's all. A tree that I want to have. A tree. I would want to prove. But anyway, this may seem like one of those super trendy ingredients that I would normally just roll my eyes at, but it does actually offer some legit benefits. No ice cream, sadly, but other benefits. It is extremely nutrient dense with seven times the vitamin C found in oranges, 10 times the vitamin A found in carrots, 17% the calcium found in milk, 15% the potassium in bananas, and 25% the iron found in spinach. And there is also some specific evidence that it can help reduce blood sugar levels, with one study finding that one and a half teaspoons wow. reduce fasting glucose by 13 and a half percent in three months. Ultimately, it See, it's gonna drop the glucose after she just promoted you eat carbohydrates. Now you have to take these things because they'll drop the fasting glucose. Yes, okay. It is a powerful source of antioxidants and in the world of like a powerful source for antioxidants plants the antioxidants they don't work in humans the only ones that you could use utilize are the ones that are in animal animal products superfood powders it's actually not crazy expensive. i like how she calls them these superfood products these super toxic foods products super toxic foods yes so yeah i just think it's a great little smoothie added yeah, and 11 o'clock i had chicken breast chicken thigh sweet potato broccoli a bowl of fruit blueberry blackberry raspberry strawberry and then i had a handful of pistachios and i had a handful of almonds okay so this jesus man <laughs> pure slave diet man that shit's just destroyed the shit out of him he doesn't realize it and he may never realize it and then it'll and then it'll be too late. It'll be too late for him. Yeah. That's the funny part. Okay. This is giving textbook celebrity diet. Yep. I mean, the almonds have like cyanide in them and all that, these nuts and shit. And then you have the oxalates and everything else, the phytotoxins. Jesus. Basic. Like literally open any tabloid magazine where they tell you what that celeb ate to lose 10 pounds, 20 pounds, whatever. And it'll be this exactly. And I mean, nutritionally, it's amazing. Like it is a perfect hunger crushing combo. Protein in the chicken, fiber in the sweet potato, broccoli and fruit. Yeah, chicken that's been abused, injected with just about everything in it. It's garbage. It eats garbage. 
pumped with hormones and uh, I don't know, clambuterol, a bunch of things. Uh, and then these, these toxic uh, vegetables, wow, and these fruits, okay, yeah, uh, fructose to really destroy your DNA and your mitochondria and cause brain damage. <laughs> okay, that's great. Yes, sure, Abby. Plus healthy fats in the nuts. So yeah. Yes, the healthy fats in the nuts, the healthy toxins like cyanide in the nuts. Yes. Sure. We love it. I just kind of yeah, hope that there's it. like a sauce or something in there. Just maybe. I like how she said, we love it. Maybe she wants you to love it, but she doesn't consume it because she knows about it. Yeah. Two o'clock, I had uh, salmon sashimi, crab salad with a little cucumber. Well, that's pretty good. You had some sashimi. But, uh, you know, these cucumbers and everything, uh, nah, they got to go, dude. And a couple pieces of chicken breast. Oh, my God. I just got hit with a wave of nostalgia. Do you remember when the Wahlbergs had that reality show and they launched Wahlburgers and they made this huge marketing campaign about how much they love burgers? That was fun. But anyway, I have kind of lost track of what meal this is. Is this second lunch, afternoon snack, pre-dinner? Again, it's still straight up protein. And I appreciate the cucumber addition. It's still straight up protein. See, it's still straight up your natural diet. Well, I mean, he is processing it. He's cooking it. It should be raw. The, the rawest thing he got there was the, was the fish, the raw sushi. Other than that... Um, the chickens, so you know, I, I wouldn't eat chickens as putrid, and I told you pork. Forget these things. But anyway, yeah, man, don't eat any carnivore animals. Um, Abby's wrong, man. I don't know. She's just... a little kind of green garnishy action there, but probably not doing that much in the way of fiber to help complement or counteract the heavy protein load tonight. But the counteract the heavy protein load, the fiber, the fiber will block. It, it can't, you can't digest fiber. It sits in your stomach forever. Meat gets dissolved the moment it hits your stomach. The, your, your hydrochloric acid in your stomach dissolves the, the protein. Yeah. When you chew the meat, you're, you're already, your saliva, it's, it's, it's already going in your system. The, the, the nutrients, they're also mineralizing your teeth at the same time. And then when you swallow it, it gets dissolved automatically in your stomach in the acid. It's gone. Meat doesn't sit around in your stomach. It's the opposite. It's the fiber that builds up in your stomach. You can hold up to 40 pounds of poop in your stomach because of fiber. Yeah. But meat, it gets dissolved automatically. What are you talking about? You have hydrochloric acid. It's gone. It's a, it's a muscle product. It's not made out of fiber, which they make uh, T-shirts like cotton T-shirts and rope out of. You understand me? You're eating rope and, and cotton t-shirts and they're sitting in your stomach. Come on, Abby. I'll have a nice steak, some sea bass or halibut, something and a vegetable. That, so that's what's sustaining him. The sea bass, the steak and all that. As far as the vegetables, he doesn't need these vegetables. Why do you need them? You don't need them. Same, you know, we got a couple different protein options and a low carb veg. And honestly, I almost never worry about people consuming low carb veg. Oh man, okay. Consuming too much protein, seeing as protein is not too much protein. You're consuming. You're co he's consuming something natural. There is no such thing as too much protein. You mean too much nutrients? Because that's what that's what muscle meat has. Nutrients. Is that what you're saying, Abby? So consuming too much nutrients is bad for you. Got to consume less nutrients. Got to consume sugar, like carbohydrates all day, right? Sugar that destroys you, yes. Energy, these energy foods, these drugs called carbohydrates. Ah, okay, I understand, Abby. So then you could sell me your supplement line. Okay, great. Notoriously very hard to overeat, even with considerable effort. And despite what the frugivores out there may tell you. Hard to overeat uh, meat? Um, you mean, yeah, because ghrelin and leptin actually works. You see, muscle, you see, the cells in your body, they're only interested in uh, nutrients. But once they get a sufficient amount of nutrients, you find that you can't eat any more meat. Your body will just simply close off your your windpipe will just close. You won't be able to swallow any more meat. That's how it regulates it. Yeah. Now, when it comes to these drugs like carbohydrates and whatever else you're eating there, well, 
it's not controlled by ghrelin and leptin. Now, you're, it's, it's, it's based on addiction. That's totally different. You're addicted to these things, so you keep consuming them. But there's no nutrients in them, and so your body doesn't, doesn't recognize them as nutrients. It doesn't recognize it as anything. It's a drug. And then it, you consume it, elevates your insulin, and then you get fat. And a bunch of stuff. It destroys your DNA, whatever. Oh, right, Poppy? A high-protein diet is not associated with kidney issues in healthy individuals. So protein in itself... It, that sounds absolutely weird. Not associated with kidney issues in healthy human beings? It's not associated with anything bad. What are you talking about? As a carnivore, it's your natural diet. That's like telling a dog, which is a carnivore just like us, that, hey, eating too much protein... Oh, uh, it's healthy for individuals. It won't destroy your kidneys. What? The dog would look at you and laugh at you. What are you talking about? <laughs> they eat protein all day. 75% of animals on this planet are carnivores. If, if it was dangerous, like Abby keeps trying to promote, eating a high protein diet is bad for you. You understand me? She's crazy. All these foods that she's promoting, they're oppor you're opportunistic. You're an opportunistic animal. So you just consume them because people tell you to consume them and they make them tasty to your palate like a drug. And so it's based on addiction. They'll destroy you. She's full of shit. ...is really not my concern, but there's still two associated risks here. Yeah, One, like what? all of Mark's many protein choices are animal... Yes, like what? or marine based like there ain't no yeah animal marine based and what about it he's got the best of two worlds he's lucky oh we little chickpea insight and the poultry and the seafood i'm not concerned and you need these chickpeas why abby why do you need them about but if the steak or pork chop portions are quite large and daily there would be a concern about increased risk of heart disease and certain cancer what? Listen, man. 75% of animals out there are carnivores. If they were all at risk at getting cancer and heart disease because they ate protein, this is the stupidest thing I ever heard. Your dog eats protein all day long. Is, does that mean he's at risk too, Abby, for heart disease and cancer because they're eating protein all day long? <laughs> What the fuck is she talking about, dude? What? Man, she's really out to lunch. She's crazy. Hey, sorry about that. I got bumped off there. That's just nuts. And two, all this protein seems to be displacing other important nutrients that help to reduce these chronic disease risks. What? These nutrients reduce these chronic disease risks? Listen, man, you as a carnivore, if you eat those things that she promotes as these chronic problems, which is she's fantasizing, she's making them up, they're the ones that create them. You understand me? It's the plants and the fake foods that she's promoting that create the cancer and the heart disease. It isn't the consuming of the protein. She wants you to believe that. Disease. Sorry, I got cut off there again. Fuck. So she wants you, she wants to promote this. She wants you to believe that. Do you understand me? So then she can sell you on these things. It's the opposite. These risks, namely fiber and antioxidants. They're obviously... Fiber and antioxidants. Fiber is the cause of every problem and these grains and nuts and whatever you're promoting there in these fruits. Are they all the causes of everything that people are suffering from? They're based on his diet recall, but in what relative proportions? We don't really know. So generally speaking, a quick rule of thumb. Okay, yeah, protein intake, yes. Is for protein to make up no more than 35% of your daily calorie. See, this is how, this is the brainwashing and the conditioning. So guess what, guys? Protein should only make up 35% of your daily calories. But protein is not a daily calorie. It's a high-nutrient diet. It's not based on calories. You understand me? She wants to make you believe that protein has something to do with calories, an energy source. It is energy somewhat. 
but it's not it's not a drug that type of energy that she's talking about these calories it's a nutrient diet it's a high nutrient diet the energy you get usually is from animal fat that's where you need it you need the saturated fat you need animal saturated fat for energy it's a different kind of energy it's a slow acting energy but the carbohydrates are fast acting energy it's a drug it's the opposite of everything she says do the opposite of what she says trust me you'll save yourself or 2.2 grams per kilogram of body weight to reduce these risks absolutely not would you ever calculate how much protein you're getting per body weight out in nature if you're a hunter absolutely not because that's how she gets you to consume less of the protein and start consuming these toxic plants do you understand me so she could fucking destroy you she's an evil person do you understand me she's a bible seeking evil person going to church yes to destroy you she wants you to break the laws of nature god's laws the real laws the god the the, the laws of nature and destroy yourself by eating these fake foods and then you'll suffer and then she'll sell you these supplements and whatever else pretending they're helping you and again i don't know what his portions look like i mean maybe he's eating a whole bag of sweet potatoes and throwing off my math here but i would just venture to say that he's well past those thresholds on the protein whatever become such a routine for me now eating right he's well past the threshold of these proteins sorry got cut off there again because stupid commercials exercising i feel good so it's something really that i look forward to he's exercising he feels good does he look good is this exercising really helping him i'm exercising so i can give away my energy for free <laughs> and then i'm eating these toxic foods to replenish to kill myself even further let me see so i'm going to inflame my body cause inflammation exercise inflammaging by exercising which is bad for me giving up my energy accelerated aging and then I eat these toxic plants, which further the accelerated aging, more inflammation in my body so that I can age the fucking shit out of myself and die early. Wow, that's really intelligent. Okay. Everything for me was so extreme. Look at him. He's going in a cool look. Exercise, which is bad for you. Exercise. I'm not saying that you shouldn't do some stuff like walking, natural things, walking, doing specific things, maybe a sprint once in a while. But this exercise constant exercising in a gym is bad for you you're giving energy away for nothing you're breaking down proteins and rebuilding them breaking down rebuilding them it's bad labor job labor consistent labor is bad for you now then he goes into a cold plunge this is this is more bad this is really bad for your body yeah man this is bad for you <laughs> increase your cortisol yeah that's it that's all you need so now, like I said, I finally figured it out at 50-something years old. Don't wait until you're 50. He finally figured it out at 50 that he should destroy himself by cold plunging, exercising like a maniac, and eating these toxic foods. Oh, okay. Need to figure it out. I love that Mark is in a place where he enjoys eating. It took me, it took me into my 50s to realize that I should just eat my natural diet as a human being, as a carnivore and stay away from all these things now exercise i've always known that i should not exercise and if i ever go to a gym it's for an adaptation an adaptation that's the only time if i'm looking to get some adaptations and very something very specific but i do not go to gyms to exercise at all well you know i think part of that comes with maturity because you just kind of realize that feeling bloated or dealing with like blood sugar highs and lows just doesn't feel good and you don't have the time to feel like crap but it also comes with changing your mindset around food you know when foods are no longer good or bad you're just more likely to want foods that legit feel good to your body like when i stopped restricting i just want foods that feel legit good to my body what do you think your body's going to feel best on natural animal products food natural raw food animal raw raw animal products they're not going to feel good and you know this because you just know they're not going to feel good eating these artificial man-made engineered plants and processed foods yeah 
foods. I actually... And these crazy seeds and nuts and fucking grains and shit and oats. I realized that the candy that I was binging on, I didn't even like. Like, I don't even like candy. I... If you don't like candy, why are you bringing it up? You're eating, it's like eating candy. Carbs is the same thing. What is she talking about? I don't crave it. I don't want it. I only craved it when I could not have it. But yeah, speaking of craving, what? I only craved it when I could not have it. Okay. But you cannot have. They always have to ask about the ubiquitous cheat day. As long as I do the cheat meal right this time, because what I'm thinking about is like, okay, I gotta have either some tequila and I'll have chocolate and I'll have some other dessert and you know, five different kinds of pasta. After Wow, pasta's like crap. The dessert's crap. It's all junk food, man. It's all junk food. Not having anything and eating clean, and I wonder why I don't feel good the next day. <laughs> Eating clean? He's still eating junk food. <laughs> Nuts and seeds and shit, all that, what he's eating, these fruits and vegetables and salad is all junk food. To a carnivore, it is junk food. But to crazy people like Abby Sharp, the nutritionist, it's considered healthy. So junk food considered healthy, too much protein considered bad. Natural animal products, bad. <laughs> this other shit good <laughs> hmm. yeah this is yeah. always the risk of making a super duper healthy diet like a strict routine as he calls it uh uh-huh okay <laughs> they're both wrong Abby sharp is wrong and so is he but of course she's she's gonna have to review the slave diet and then put you on the right track to <laughs> keep enslaving you that it becomes more like an obsession or something that any deviation from would cause. Of course, eating too much protein. Now, 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 we don't want Wahlberg to get too healthy now. We definitely want him to get sicker. So I'm Abby Sharp. I promote throwing eat 35% of protein. Don't eat any more than that. Eat more of these toxic plants so we can fucking destroy the fuck out of you. So you fucking die faster, all you son of a bitches out there, okay? All right? So, Wahlberg, you listen to me. I, I say 35% and then eat these toxic plants, the rest of it, so you can fuck off and die. Distress. That is when healthy eating becomes unhealthy. And while I have... See, that's when healthy eating becomes unhealthy. Listen to me. Healthy, you eating these healthy animal products is a no-no. Thirty, You must eat 35%. Do not eat 75, 35%. And add more of these toxic, toxic plants because eating too healthy, that's what I have problems with. You have to eat unhealthy. Honestly, could write a book about that. Maybe sure. I am. Maybe sure. there is something I'm working on. I don't know. Anyways, if this works for Mark and he feels truly happy and fulfilled eating this way on the regular, amazing. But... I hope he leaves some room for an order of those super amazing tater tots at Wahlburgers in a day that isn't like a full-on cheat day or whatever it is that brings him joy. Healthy eating should not be an on or off switch. And learning how to live in the gray and eat in the gray. Can Healthy eating is eating your, your diet that is meant for you as a carnivore, your natural diet. Anything else you eat is considered a diet in science. Diet is a made up man's word word. It doesn't exist. It means a behavior. You're behaving in a certain way and you're behaving irrational. You understand me as a carnivore. It'd be a continual lifelong process. But on that note, that's all that I have for you guys today. Thank a quick God. reminder to please be kind in the comments. And if you Sure, I'll be kind. Like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. It really, really does help me out. And if you're looking Yes, slaves, don't forget to subscribe, her slaves. Don't forget to subscribe and like her channel and everything, guys. And do exactly what she says, and you'll be put on the path to health. Yes, a very healthy diet. For a way to integrate protein into your day and like a more... Yes, how as a carnivore to integrate protein in your diet, you as a, as a carnivore, how to implement it? Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, sure, sure. Honest way, check out my 2-in-1 probiotic protein powder new theory. Yes, carnivores, check out her powder, these protein powders made out of these toxic plants, uh, my carnivores.
Yes, try these things so we can destroy you even further with the government and steal your money. Yeah, that's why the cops are stopping people everywhere in the USA. And, and if they find money in your car, if they, you allow them to inspect your car, they inspect it. They steal your money too now, even in the airport. They're stealing your money. Don't carry cash with you. Why? Because they want to steal it from you. They want to steal everything from you. Anything. If they could steal your energy from you, your money, your life, everything, they will. All of these people will suck you dry. Get it? I'll see you in the next one, friends. I hope that's a lesson you learn. I'll see you in the next one. Like, subscribe, support the channel. Comment down below. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao. Abby Sharp, man. She really is a is a work is a piece of work.